This is a CBS 4 News update. Good morning, I'm Brooke Schaefer. Two fugitives who escaped from a Tennessee prison were caught in Pompano Beach. While heading south, officials say they kidnapped a highway official in Kentucky and stole multiple cars. Deputies caught 36-year-old Robert Lee Brown and then hours later were able to catch up to 34-year-old Christopher Osteen. Both of these fugitives are detained this morning. All across the country, hospitals are getting ready to get their first doses of the coronavirus vaccine, and doctors are prepping to administer those first shots. Pfizer started shipping nearly 3 million doses yesterday from its Michigan factory to all 50 states. The FDA granted emergency use authorization of the vaccine late Friday as daily U.S. COVID-19 deaths topped 3,000 for the second time last week. Well, firefighters in Fort Lauderdale woke up to a surprise visitor in their firehouse. Fort Lauderdale Fire Rescue tweeted out this picture of a coyote they found wandering through its bay. And apparently the coyote was just as surprised as the firefighters. It quickly ran out as soon as it was spotted. Well, the Miami Dolphins are getting into the holiday spirit. The team's Unites program held a holiday toy event at Hard Rock Stadium yesterday. The organization pre-selected 16 families to enjoy the game against the Chiefs. While watching the Dolphins play, everyone enjoyed lunch in festively decorated cabanas. And then at halftime, the Dolphins unveiled the toys and gifts for those lucky families. Now, CBS4 weather. Good Monday morning. We are waking up to a nice, cool, dry start as we look at the radar and satellite. Not seeing any rain should stay dry throughout the day. However, some patchy, dense fog is reducing visibility for some inland areas in the western suburbs. Now, we did have lows dip down to the upper 50s and low 60s earlier this morning and our lows in the upper 60s along the coast. So it certainly is a comfortably cool start and highs will warm up to the low 80s with plenty of sunshine. We will see warm afternoons ahead with highs in the low 80s for Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, the chance for some spotty showers, maybe a better rain chance Thursday, a weak cold front moves in by Friday, waking up to the cooler low 60s, highs in the upper 70s. Well, that's the news for now. You can always find us on CBSMiami.com and tune into CBS 4 News at 5, 6, 7, and 11 for all of today's headlines.